Hey everyone, how are you doing? Thank you for joining me here in the den at Friendship Shaving. My name's Mark and as always it's good to be here. I hope you've been having a good week. I was going to use a replica super speed for my shave today but I've had problems with this razor and I'll go into that at the end of my shave just to show you the issues that I've encountered and also I was going to use my rubber set 203 but you can see I've got problems with that as well I just picked it up to use it and thought that knot feels a little bit loose and sure enough so I'm going to be using for the razor it's a razor by the same company and it is a replica tech razor and my brush is going to be a rubber set 400 with my synthetic knot in it I've got a day's growth here I've just had a shower so I'm really quite hot and just looking for a really nice cool and refreshing shave so I'm going to be using my executive shaving natural shaving cream do you know it's about half full this pot and I've had it for absolutely ages and ages so really good value it's rosemary eucalyptus bergamot juniper and pine needle and on a warm spring evening it really is refreshing so I'm going to be using that on today and I'll just get a little bit on my brush, that is all I will need. There we are. Now let me show you this razor. It is a razor that has been sent to me from Global Shave Club International. And this is their Replitech razor. I've been using it for over a week now. And it is a razor I like very much indeed. It's really very well finished. And I'll show you in a little bit more detail as I take it apart and put the razor blade in. The razor blade I'm going to be using today is a treat Platinum. It will be its third use. Not a bad blade at all. Not my favourite, but very nice nevertheless. So let me show you this razor. It has got um, a stainless steel handle, a type 304 stainless steel. It's beautifully finished. It has been chromed. And if you look at the guard plate, this is made from a new type of zinc alloy called Zamac 18. You can see the finishing on there is really very nice, but what I like about it is that it's a little bit less shiny than the chrome handle. And then the head cap is a definite satin finish. And uh, I think that sort of gradation of shine is really very attractive. If I show you the uh, corner posts there, you might not be able to see too well, but they are really sharply defined and really well finished. Now let's pop this treat blade in there. And of course the blade does sit perfectly within those corner posts as, as they would with any tech. But this one is based on an end of year 1965 Gillette tech. And it is weighted, although it is a stainless steel handle, so different material from the original, it is weighted to the exact specification of the original. 
and uh, let me just check that I think I knocked the blade with my thumb as I was screwing it up there we are that's all good to go it comes in a little travel tin and there you can see quite a nice idea it comes with a little polishing cloth in there and the razor itself comes in a little felt pouch now let me wipe my face a little bit and I'll start lathering up this cream I hope you've been well this week I've been in the wars a bit I cut myself very badly and uh, what I did was late at night uh, half asleep before I went to bed I picked up a few packets left over from razors that I opened three or four that I'd had I'd put them places and so I gathered them all up scrunched them together like that to throw away and of course that was the point I realised that one of them still had a razor blade in it and it cut me good and proper let's just say it's a good job I had a bone in the middle of my finger but uh, as we tend to do these days I immediately took a picture and posted it on the Friendship Shaving Facebook group and asked if anyone else had done anything quite so stupid and yes was the answer plenty of you out there have cut yourselves with razor blades um, a really good one was a gentleman dropped his razor blade and instinctively caught it wow <laughs> but there was lots of good tales of people maiming themselves with the razor blades I don't quite remember ever doing that with a cartridge razor. Now you can see I'm starting to build up a really nice lather now. This is a lovely soap, very inexpensive. There's some menthol in it, it's just a lovely refreshing pine type of scent. I really like this one. I'm just going to add just a drop of water. think that will do very nicely. I'd just like to say thank you for your suggestions for synthetic brushes that I've uh, been enjoying looking into those this week. I must admit there are an awful lot of tuxedo knots out there. They are a very good all round knot, I guess that's why they're so popular. But it'd be certainly nice to try some others, which I will do at some point. got my cold water tonight as well so this is really really very nice now this is a great razor I must say
This is a very enjoyable shave. I've been loving this one, I'll be honest with you. It is, let me just reach down here because it is a better shave than my fat handled tech and you can maybe see there although the light is bouncing off these razors you can see it is a, a slightly different shape being as it's based on the 1965 Gillette tech but this is really terrific it reminds me very much of my late 50s aluminium tech now although the weight is obviously very different the shave on my aluminium tech is very similar to this one it is comfortable and close and it is definitely more effective than you would imagine I think that's fair to say I've been having a terrific shave with this but a couple of times it has left me with just a little bit of razor burn for about an hour so I feel there's a definite angle to get with this razor I believe that the blade is uh, Just let me try and think of what I want to say. I can't quite bring it to mind. There's definitely, I think, a little bit of positive blade exposure with this razor. Just enough so that I can feel the blade. Um, it's really a nice shave. going to drain this water oh boy I put the cold flannel on and that really is cold so I guess I've got a knot to glue into my rubber set 203 I've been looking at AP Shave Co over on Etsy and uh, there's a nice, not much selection, but a nice selection of synthetic knots. Mm. I definitely like the sound of the cashmere. And actually I think that would look great in a rubber set 400. So perhaps I might have to look out for a rubber set 400 number four to go with my number three. soap I've been using in the week is my Martin de Condre Fougere. 
Now that is the nicest fougere I think I've used and what I really like is I can take a whole sample of soap and just squash it in the bottom of my old spice mug and just use it up as and when I wish and that works really well rather than trying to take a little bit of a sample I'm trying to work out how much I'll need in a bowl uh, which I don't always get right so that's working very well at the moment now second pass You can hear it just takes the hair straight off. Very nice razor. This one is obviously the chrome version, but there are three different types available. I'll put all the details in the description to this video, but this has the 101 head, which is the chrome version. There is the 102 which comes with the same head and a black ball handle and then there is also a gold version. Now this one currently is $29.99. And now I'll put the prices for the other, I'll put all the details down below, but uh, I like this one, I, I'm glad I got this one. Uh, I like the chrome. And actually I quite like the satin finish as well and the head cap. Now I think I'm correct in saying that the original 1965 Gillette tech would have had Gillette stamped into the head cap there. And that's the reason why I've never got one. I just don't like that on a razor. And in fact I noticed that the new Gillette that is just coming out now has the initials KCG stamped on the top of the head cap there for King Camp Gillette. And uh, I've got to say, I don't like it. Oh, I've nicked myself, I might have just caught myself there. As I say with this tech, it's not quite as mild as you would imagine. It's a very nice razor for me. Now on the Global Shave Club website, they rate this about along the lines of a DE89 or an R89, but I think it's a step or two above that. Ah, I got myself there as well. Goodness me, it's a bloodbath. It's funny, eh? How you, I never notice till I look till I look in the mirror and I think, oh, are you like that? Now, I've just had a shower, so maybe it's something to do with that. I don't normally have a shower and then come in for a shave. So perhaps my skin is just doing something that it doesn't normally do when I shave. Who knows?
Now we mentioned the gold razors, didn't we? Like the gold Rackley tech. Did you know that back in the day, Gillette presented a razor to JFK, Mr. President, and uh, it was gold and rose gold, and it was the 1960s tech. I wonder what happened to that razor, eh? You never know, if you've seen one on eBay, it might have once belonged to the President of the United States of America. Well, maybe not, but we like to dream, don't we? <laughs> well, I do anyway. Well, I tell you guys, that is a lovely razor, no question about it. I think that could become one of my favourites as it goes. Super, super shave. There's not much residual slickness on this uh, shaving cream. There is a little bit. It's not bad at all, but uh, gosh, it is so refreshing. So let's put a drop of water on my face. There we are, there's a little bit more slickness now. Of course, that's much better now that I've added water. Do it. So I'm just going to put on a little bit of green tonight. Now the reason you don't see me use very many aftershaves is because for the most part I shave in an evening. Quite often it's late, as it is this evening. And uh, I don't really want to go to bed or to sit in the lounge light on thinking of an aftershave only to go to bed half an hour later. So that is why often I stick to the same things but I have got a couple of aftershaves to show you and I will do that in the next shave I think. Now I did get this replica super speed razor from the Global Shave Club and let me show you a couple of issues I've had with this. It's a nice looking razor, the finish is very nice on this, the handle is also very nice indeed. It's based on a 1949 Gillette Tech. Now a very minor thing is you can see that the silo doors don't quite, let me put that down and maybe the light will calm down, they don't quite match up evenly. And one side is a little bit worse than the other. Now that is a minor thing, a very minor thing. It does seem as if the door, as I'm looking at it now, is slightly like that. 
very slightly. But the issue really was this, as I unscrew, excuse me, my cut on my finger is just preventing me from getting that going. So as I unscrew the razor to open those doors, and you can see that opening now, can you also see that the head lifts? And if you look at it that way, maybe you can see it's a little bit cockeyed. It's really loose. And if I continue to screw that or unscrew that, it will come off. There we are, like that. So, not the best start. I don't quite know how these are intended to fit together but I wonder if there's meant to be some material on here that sticks it to the handle. Now if I can work that out I will come back and have a shave with this. Um, And actually, look, I'm not even I'm not even using the bottom bit. I'm just sort of screwing it in. There we are. So it does lock down nice and tightly once you get there. But it's just a shame that the handle fell off. So we'll just put that down as a one-off, and uh, I'll see if I can fix that, and uh, maybe come back and have a shave with that. Just to let you know that Global Shave Club is producing a replica of the, sorry, my brains leaked out of my ears. The Fat Boy, they're making a replica of the Fat Boy. There was a GoFundMe page, they've uh, got enough to get going, but there are some, some more available. Um, well, you can have a look at that and decide for yourself. I will put all the relevant information in the description of this video for you. That's my lot. Now I hope you have a good week. Take care of yourselves. I'll catch you next time around. Bye bye now.